Thank you, buddy. That's gonna do it for the top water. I don't wanna waste my entire morning bite. I know the fish are out here. I've seen several blow ups already. So let's switch things out. And before I continue, welcome to the channel, everyone. If you're new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. We are in Surfside, Texas, fishing a nice sized marsh during a full moon. So. Things are gonna be a little bit difficult, but let's hang in there and see what happens. There he is right there. gonna be a big boy Yeah, look at that fella. He looks really nice. Oh, look at that. It's a good 23, 24 inches, somewhere around there. Look at that gorgeous redfish, y'all. Multi spotter. It's a 24 and a quarter inch redfish right there. That there's gonna be some great dinner. Thank you, buddy. Thank you again. So let's go over the setup really fast. I'm gonna have to replace the paddle tail. These are phenomenal. And it's the Hoagie Swimming Jack. It's a black with chartreuse tail. Now this black plastic has a lot of red flake in it. We're using an owner inshore slam jig head. That's the 1 8 ounce and it's got like a little screw lock. I'm gonna have to bend this hook back into place. That goes to show how strong redfish are. Anyhow, uh, going back to the setup, that's 15 pound fluorocarbon leader line, 20 pound braid. We have a seven foot long light powered old 18 ascent rod. I do have a description, I mean a, a discount code in my description down below. Uh, save 20% if you're interested in one of these rods. Phenomenal. We also have a Luze Pro SP bait caster and all together it's one heck of a powerhouse to bring in these reds. It's a big gar right here. He's about three and a half feet. There he is. <sighs> okay, that's one crab right there. 
Kind of saw a slurp right there. I can't see what caused it, but I'm just going to cast. Something's got to be right there. It's spooking the bait unless they're horsing around. Oh, that's got to be a red. <laughs> oh, the drag is not set. Dang it. Kidding me, Mark? What are you doing? Yeah, I don't want to. It's it's very difficult to see them. I spooked three. I'd like to maybe stop at the other back lake just real quick. Push that one out. That one, like oh, coming in. Do you remember what we did last time we were here? And you got your lemon, I got. Oh lemon. yeah, 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 yeah. To go back in that one. I'm thinking we just hit that first one. I've never had luck in the back ones. But yeah. Just hit that, even just maybe hit that Yeah, they are. It's got to be a small trout. There were um, quite a few blocks this morning. I saw them. I figured I caught the... You know how there's usually one keeper and then... Yeah. Little turds. After I caught the one keeper, I made a couple more casts with the top water, but I was like, man, I'm just going to jack up a probably a little undersized with these treble hooks. I'm not gonna There he is. The flats bug? Oh, he's a nice one. You want him for Percy? I mean, we still have room for this. All right, buddy. Oh, dang. Whoa. Oh. Oh boy, was fighting for his life. This is a really nice heavy one for the marsh. Oh yeah, same thing. Yeah, wow. All right, buddy, let's hurry up and get you taken care of. Literally just bouncing it off the bot. Whoa, whoa. All right. I got him. Just keep an eye out for the boats and ear out for them. Thank you, buddy. I'll let y'all get a quick look at the lure that we're using to bounce the bottom of the marsh. That mud, this right here is called a flats bug from Bugs Fishing Lures really really specialized for out here yeah it's been a great day i'm so fortunate to be able to catch a couple keepers it's a gorgeous speckled trout right there probably 18 inches yes yes i feel the ipad the bad day what you do on me as it's fit Pretty 
simple process. What we have is some white flour right there. We got a uh, one egg beaten. Uh, that's gonna help this mixture right here, which is two cups of panko, a half cup of Parmesan, and then we've got one tablespoon of fresh minced basil and a half teaspoon of salt. This crust right here is really good. They fit? Yeah. already getting look how big that is. Getting melted. Is anyone putting tartar on yeah, this? Just to grab part of it. I want tartar. Go ahead. What is this? You want me to film y'all doing this? It's already filming. I don't think it can see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, Do you know Dr. Pepper can only a Texas thing? Yeah. It is. Dr. Pepper? Yeah. I didn't want that. Okay, there you go. I just need to already put it on here. Just want to. Right down right there. I'm gonna put some. I don't know why I'm thinking of McDonald's for some reason, like their fish au filet sandwich. Here's what we got, y'all. Just a uh, redfish sandwich. Kind of like the McDonald's, what they got going on, the fish au filet, but a hundred times better. Some nice crispy French fries, not homemade. And uh, yeah, I'm very hungry, so let's come set this over here. Do you want more fries? Huh? You want some more fries? Mm -hmm. Y'all were hating on my spinach, but it tastes good on there. Just a weird texture. It's like a not crunchy lettuce. That's the whole point of lettuce, is the crunchy part. Fish at McDonald's just seems weird. They use only the finest. <laughs> I bet. What do you think they use for those uh, Gordon, is it Gordon's fish? Gordon's. You think that's like <clears throat> cheap fish? Probably some. Vietnamese what's that? Yeah, what was that? Vietnamese, Vietnamese uh, fish that those restaurants got caught using? I don't know, but it probably is that. Like, yeah, they're like three dollars a pound for yeah, these farm-raised fish from Vietnam. Add placement. <clears throat> that's gonna do it, y'all. Thank you so much for tagging along on today's adventure. A lot of the items that I use are gonna be listed down in the video description below. When you make a purchase from the Amazon website or their app, then the channel does earn a small kickback. And for those of you that are traveling to our area um, on the upper Texas Gulf Coast, I do Patreon. And that just helps to speed your learning curve whenever you wanna go out into our marsh system to try and catch reds, flounders, speckled trout, whatever it is that uh, happens to be out there swimming along, then consider going over to Patreon. There's a lot of behind the scenes information that, well not information, there's just a lot of behind the scenes stuff, photos and things of that nature. So if it's something that you might wanna consider, then go over there. That also really helps out the channel so that I can go out there and continuously film and uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Until next time, tight lines.